Welcome to Bio Football at AOPS 2016. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Bio Farmer. In this episode, we're at the AAPS 2016 meeting in Denver, Colorado. Presenting a whole host of analytical technologies to address the most challenging pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical analytical needs. We're going to be presenting in a vendor seminar session. We've got posters we're presenting. We're out speaking to all of our customers about their most challenging applications. It's just a great opportunity to collaborate with a lot of people that we work with in the industry and then um, to give a presentation at the Thermal Scientific Seminar about some of the work that we're doing in the Althea lab. So stay with us and I hope you enjoy the episode. On our booth we've got such a wide range of things on offer. We've got HPLC and UHPLC columns, also got the Thermoscientific Dianex ICS 5000 Plus High Pressure Iron Chromatography System. Well I'm finding my pharmaceutical customers are using the ICS 5000 Plus for determination of uh, counter ions. More direct methods, better methods. I think that's, that's the goal of all the pharmacopoeias out there. This is the Thermo Scientific Vanquish Flex Binary UHPLC system. In a nutshell, it's easy to use, high pressure, UHPLC, zero dead volume, finger tight connections. Um, when we were looking for uh, moving towards a new uh, system, we really wanted to have a, a trusted name and we also wanted to be able to um, have the additional capabilities with uh, higher pressures. And we chose the Thermal Scientific's Vanquish UHPLC and we had a DAD detector and a fluorescence detector and I won't go into the fluorescence detector much but that also gives you another layer of information which is the intrinsic fluorescence which also shifts when you have shifting protein conformations. The Thermal Scientific QXactive Plus Hybrid Quadrupole Arbitrate Mass Spectrometer. We have five in total and um, they're mainly used for oligonucleotide um, therapeutics, but we also use them for small molecule also. So it's no coincidence that this week next to the Thermal Scientific booth, a Lamborghini was positioned. And many people have been pleasantly surprised this week to hear about the speed of Arbitrap technology. Not all an analyses and requirements are equal. So based upon the needs of selectivity and sensitivity, as we can see here, there's a range of different instruments that are available, depending on the various challenges of the analytical laboratory that you have. Um, we use them for uh, typically those compounds that are either small, volatile, they don't LC very well. Uh, they could LC and they're typically done by LCMS, but can't get down to the sensitivity that's really required. A huge benefit to the Thermo Fisher Scientific products is that they all operate off of the same Qtegra software platform and it's fully 21 CFR compliant. So I've been a Watson Limbs user since 2002 and uh, we first put Watson Limbs in for the same reason why we use it today. It serves as the central hub for all of the data and the regulatory compliance within the laboratory. So. Um, what makes you get out of bed in the morning? Yeah. Well, the challenges. Uh, RTI offers a lot of challenges. The work is challenging in itself. It's the Thermo Scientific MISA uh, platform that we're looking at. It's, uh, again, based on a, a microcolumn that's fitted within a pipette tip housing. Uh, and this allows you to simply incubate this with your, your plasma samples or your serum samples. And by just simply pipetting, you're able to extract out your analyte of interest. In this case, we're looking at monoclonal antibodies. Um, what's been your highlights for the week, Rowan? Finding out how some of our customers are addressing the impending update to USP methodologies for elemental analysis. Extractables and leachables has been a really hot topic as well. I mean, certainly gone and seen plenty of talks from various different exhibitors and uh, different people who are trying to meet these, the challenges of this quite complex task. And the, the complexity of biotherapeutics is, is becoming more of a challenge analytically. Good to meet you, hey Brad. Nice to meet you. And why do I call you Brad? <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
if there's an elegant way to get out of this. I'll be very gentle. Visit thermofisher.com forward slash AAPS. And make sure you follow at Crom Solutions. See you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that wasn't very elegant, was it?